Down here at Radio Row, Coach Kenny Dillingham, thank you for joining us. Appreciate taking the time. Of course. Appreciate you having me. Yeah. just Let's just get right into it. I mean, this whole, these last two months for you have just been a whirlwind. Is there any way you can try to just put that into words what the last two months have been like? Drinking water out of a fire hose. I mean, that's about as simple as you could put it. I mean, every single day there's new obstacles, new problems, new positives. I mean, that's the the best part about this is everybody wants to dwell on how hard it is, but it's, it's something I dreamt of my entire life. So ready for the challenge and excited every single day when I wake up. We were talking a little bit before and you were saying the first couple of weeks, you know, when everyone's kind of going out and doing the recruiting, trying to get their guys out. Of, of, of the program, you were trying to keep some guys in, talk to them. What was that experience like? Yeah, it was great. I mean, when I first took the job, the first thing I wanted to do was get in front of our players. So I had a team meeting with our players. Then I had them set up individual meetings. Uh, so I met with every player on our team, either individual or in small, small groups, the first three to four days, the first week. I didn't go on the road. I didn't recruit. It was about our guys. It was about the guys in the building, the guys who were Sun Devils. And then when our staff you know, started to come together, it was, okay, we could go out and recruit kids or we could get them on the phone and bring them here. And the one thing that I know about being born and raised here is this is a pretty good place to be, especially this time of year. So we need to bring kids here, show them what we have to offer. So those first three weeks were about bringing kids here to our campus and they were about our players. Definitely. You obviously know from firsthand experience the potential that ASU has from sports and just in general. What do you think has been lacking in the past, and what has this reception been like from the community lately after your activation? Yeah, I mean, lacking, I just think consistency. Consistency as a, as a staff wanting to be here and really building for the future, not how can I have a flash in the pan of success. It's really easy in college football to do to have a flash in the pan of success with the transfer portal and how you can recruit in some different changes in the game you can you can put a flash in the pan almost anywhere but when you're somewhere that you want to be over the longevity of time it, it has to operate differently so I think somebody that wants to be here a group of people that want to be here and then fans who are going to show that support I mean at the end of the day we're going to have some elite players in our building to watch games we're going to have some elite players fired up to come here but if they don't see that this isn't a, a program that has the support of the fan base, if they don't see the butts in the seats like I mentioned in my press conference, then it's all for naught. Because they're going to show up somewhere and it's going to be a sold out crowd with people excited, people going crazy. If we can create that environment here, right, that's one more thing that somebody can't say, why not us? And when you're recruiting, you're not checking why us, you're removing why not us. And right now that's a problem that people are going to walk into and say, that's the reason why I can't. Us as a fan base, us as a Valley, can remove that box. And that's one of the biggest hurdles that we have. Absolutely. Well, we've talked about the activation on our show a lot, Coach, and it's obviously not just a phrase you're using. It's, it's, we can truly see it happening. And it's not just for the football program. You know, we saw you guys out at the ASU basketball game the other day. What does activating the Valley mean to you? I mean, it just means everybody getting involved. College sports are different than professional sports. We have a huge media market here. We have all the professional sports, right? However, college sports are different. They feel different. The game days are different. That's not taking away from professional sports. I grew up a diehard Cardinals fan, Diamondbacks fan, Suns fan, ASU fan. It's just different. And kids need to feel the, the youth, the three, five, seven, eight, ten year olds need an environment of college sports. They need it. And it's us as a community, it's us as a valley to give them that right here. And that's what I mean by activate the valley is it doesn't mean if you, it doesn't mean you have to donate a dollar. It means come out to a tailgate and then go out on mill and watch the game there. It means how can what can you do personally to create an environment around college athletics here in one of the best cities in America? Definitely. So big get uh, this last week, Jaden Rashada. Uh, is a Sun Devil. What were your conversations early like with him and kind of what, what is he like as a person? Well, one, he's an unbelievable kid. He's super low-key, as the kids say nowadays, super <laughs> to himself. Uh, he obviously, it's funny I say the word low-key because his name is the one of the, you know, the, the talking points yeah. of college football, but him as a person, unbelievable person. He's about family. He wants to take care of others. When he makes decisions, it's how can I help other people? How can I help other people? How can I help other people? So that, if you had to say who Jaden Rashada is, he's an unbelievable kid who's trying to help other people, who's always looking out for other people because that's just the, the nature of who he is and how the conversations went were, Jaden, eventually in your life, 
you got to do something for you. You got to go to where what makes you happy. Because if you go to where what place that makes you happy, you're going to be better, you're going to perform better, you're going to be happier, and you're going to have more success. So you got to be able to remove all the noise and go to a place that you want to go to and be happy, and your success will come through that. Yeah, one of the things you talked about in your introductory press conference was being honest with kids when recruiting. Um, talking about kids that are here now, like quarterback Drew Pine and the other quarterbacks in the room, what has that conversation been like bringing Rashada in? Yeah, I honestly haven't even had a conversation with him because they know I'm going to continually bring in players here that can make us better. So from here till eternity, if a kid asks, am I taking a transfer? If a kid asks, I'm taking another high school kid. If a kid asks, am I taking two high school kids, three high school kids? The answer will always be, if he can make us better, I will. Because I... That's how it's going to work regardless of where you go. It's just a matter of if a coach is going to lie to you or not. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you what it's going to look like. We're going to bring in players that can make us better. Definitely. Well, you're very active on Twitter as well, and as an entire, entire staff, really. How important is it to not only be active on social media but be relatable? Because, you know, you, I saw you quote tweeting Burrito Express, adding them. Uh, what is it like? How big is that to kids? Uh I don't know. That's just my personality. <laughs> I think the one thing that every head coach that I respect has always told me and throughout my career was you're a genuinely honest person, sometimes to a fault, right? You're genuine. You're honest. And then the other thing they always tell you is don't try to be somebody else. Be you when you get your opportunity. So that's just me being me. There's no filters. There's no fakeness. That's my personality. That's why I'm every day. So... You know, now that I get to run a program, like, that's what I would have always been, right? But I was obviously under other people who have a different light on social media. That's who I am. It's fun, right? The goal of life is to be a good person, help people be successful, and enjoy it. Let's not lose sight of that, right? That, it's life. Enjoy life. Help people be successful. Teach kids how to grow. But enjoy it. Otherwise, you're going to wake up one day miserable, and then the next day miserable. And that's no way to live life. Definitely. I love that. Last question for me, Coach. You're going to take some time to unwind a little bit soon. Are you going to take a break anytime soon, or is it just go mode until the season starts? Well, you know, I told my wife we're going to have last Friday, we're going to have a half day, and then Saturday, Sunday, we're going to have off this last week. So she said in honor of, you know, the signing class that we're going to Disneyland. So ironically, <laughs> she took me and my 10-month-year-old uh, to Disneyland. So Let's go. I don't make many decisions. She makes most <laughs> of the decisions when I get home. So we went to Disneyland. We just got back in town uh, Sunday night. So it was a good time. Love that. Love that. Well, Coach, thanks so much for taking the time. If you ever have an opportunity to take uh, to talk to Coach, it's like a substitute for coffee in the morning. It's fantastic. <laughs> Coach Kenny Dillingham, I appreciate you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Of course.